So a lot of you guys have been asking for updated collection videos for the newer consoles, for the PS3, the Wii, 360, DS, PSP. I'm finally here, got my stuff together, and I'm finally here to show you guys my updated PS3 collection. So I figured I'd start with my limited slash collector's editions for the PS3, and the first limited edition that I picked up for the console, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriot. It was an amazing game. The limited edition wasn't that great. I really did enjoy the soundtrack that came with it. It also came with like a Blu-ray um, that I never actually watched, but um, I love the, the box. It's something different and the game was phenomenal. Late last year, I picked up the Castlevania Lords of Shadow Collector's Edition, which is another great collector's edition. It came with a nice art book. Um, I also got a shirt for pre-ordering it, and um, the soundtrack for this game was good as well. But for some reason, I never actually got around to going back into the game. It's one of those games I definitely want to get back into. I only played like an hour of it, and um, for some reason, it just didn't catch me. And the newest member to my PlayStation 3 collection is Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds. I love this special edition and I know a lot of people are hating on it, but like I said in my unboxing video, you know, I, I got this off of Amazon and I only paid $65 and the steel book case is well worth it for me. So um, I'm definitely happy with this. I also have here the PlayStation Move bundle, which is, uh, you know, a pretty good value for what you get. You get a game, Sports Champions, which is pretty good. Very similar to Wii Sports. Um, a little bit more realistic and a lot of fun. But to tell you the truth, I haven't played that much of it since I picked up this bundle. Um, it also comes with the PlayStation Move motion controller. You guys know the little ice cream cone. And um, the PlayStation Eye camera. Like I said, it's a pretty good bundle. I'm very interested to see um, where Sony is going with the PlayStation Move. You know, I would love to see more games that um, are compatible with the Move. 3D.GameHeroes is awesome. I love this game. If you guys haven't checked this game out, you definitely should. Um, it reminds me a lot of The Legend of Zelda. I know you guys have heard that before, but it really like struck home with me just because it made me feel like you know I was back in the 80s and I was sitting in front of my TV um, playing the Nintendo I mean I love the pixelated graphics um, everything about this game was great it was cute um, just very charming and um, I absolutely enjoyed it Africa is a game that not a lot of people talk about and I think that has to do with the fact that Probably a lot of people don't think this is actually a game, um, but it is. It's very similar to Pokemon Snap. It's very relaxing. You play as a photographer um, who is out in the jungle and, you know, you're snapping photos of all of the great animals in Africa. I mean, it's just that simple. Like I said, it's very relaxing. And if you can find it for cheap, you should definitely pick it up. I don't even have to talk about Batman Arkham Asylum. I mean, you guys know how awesome the game is. It's just amazing, and I can't wait for Batman Arkham City. Demon Souls is the game that I want to give another chance because I've heard such great things about it. Um, I picked it up when it was released. I played maybe 30 minutes to an hour of it, and I just gave up. I mean, the difficulty was just so punishing to me, and there were other games out at the time, so I never went back to it, but I'm really excited about trying to um, dig a little deeper into this game and the sequel that's coming soon. Devil May Cry 4 is not the best game in the series, unfortunately. Um, I really enjoyed Devil May Cry 1 and Devil May Cry 3, even though I don't like Dante, because for some reason he's just really annoying, but... This game has a new character. His name is Nero. He's pretty cool. He's all right, even though there are some similarities. Um, I enjoyed playing through this game. I had fun with it. I enjoyed letting out my frustrations with the nice, sweet combos um, that the series always has to offer. Folklore. I've been looking for this game since forever, and I finally found it last month. So I haven't gotten around to playing it yet, but I finally have it in my collection. I picked up iPad when I picked up my PlayStation Move, and my son and I had some fun with this game. It's a lot of fun. You know, it's your basic pet simulator, uh, but with some mini games added in there. I mean, it was fun. I think it shows off the, the capabilities of the PlayStation Move rather well. Final Fantasy 13 is definitely a game I want to go back and try to complete. Um, you know, I only played three hours of it and I just gave up and it didn't have anything to do with the fact that the game was linear. I know a lot of you guys out there um, really don't like that but I didn't mind that too much. It had to do with the characters. I really didn't feel a connection um, with any of the characters 
but I heard that it gets better. It's just a matter of me going back and trying to play through it um, to get to that sweet spot in the game. I have some God of War games here. The first one is the God of War Collection, which is an HD remake of God of War 1 and God of War 2, which originally came out on the PlayStation 2. And also God of War 3, which I absolutely loved. One of my favorite games from 2010. Lots of fun. I love the great set pieces, the bosses. Everything about this game was sick. I know a lot of you guys don't care, but Gran Turismo 5 is a great game. I really enjoyed what I've played of it so far. With all of its flaws, I still think it's an enjoyable title. I love the series, and I just love sitting down and relaxing and, and racing with awesome cars. A lot of you guys recommended Haze to me and I picked it up for about $10 at GameStop maybe a year or so ago and I haven't gotten around to play it yet. Heavenly Sword is the reason why I picked up a PS3. I mean I picked this game up when I bought the console and um, I knew I had to have a PS3 when I saw reviews and footage and trailers and all types of stuff on the game. The game was just jaw dropping back then it's, and it still looks pretty good now. I love the characters in this title. Um, the story was pretty good. I didn't really like the six axis controls, but other than that, it was well worth it. And you guys can probably find this game cheap if you haven't played it already. Heavy Rain is another title that I absolutely enjoyed in 2010. One of my favorite games for the PlayStation 3. I just love everything about this game. The whole choose your own adventure type of feel. Um, it's so intense. It's amazing. Infamous is a title that blew me away. I know a lot of you guys out there don't really like it that much, but I really enjoyed Infamous. It's made by Sucker Punch, the creators of the Sly Cooper games for the PS2. And um, there are a lot of similarities between this game and the Sly games. I can't wait for Infamous 2 to come out. For some reason, Katamari Forever is not in a lot of PS3 collections, and I'm not quite sure why. This game is really good. I mean, I might be a little biased because I absolutely adore the Katamari games for the PS2. I have it for the PSP, and this one is more Katamari. I mean, it's awesome. Um, it uses the six-axis controls, and um, it looks really, really good. So definitely, if you're in for something a little different, check out Katamari Forever. Killzone 2. Now I was really excited about this game. I picked this up because I wanted that first person shooter experience on the PS3 and this um, is supposed to be the best experience for FPS's on the console. Uh, but for some reason the controls, I couldn't get down with them. Like they just weren't working for me. Everything felt a little floaty, um, which made me kind of mad. But I'm going back into it. Killzone 3 is going to be released um, next week, which is crazy. That game is coming out next week. I played the single de player demo for that game and the controls are awesome. They actually fix the controls. They feel more tight. It's not as loose as um, this game's controls, but I do want to go back in and play this game and get more of the story so I know what's going on in Killzone 3. Little Big Planet 1 and Little Big Planet 2. I don't even have to talk about this game. You guys know I love the Little Big Planet games. Just fun platformers. You can sit around, play co-op with friends, um, and create your own levels, which is awesome. My Nation Racers is a pretty good kart racing game. It does take some time to get used to the controls. They're not as tight as, let's say, um, Mario Kart games or even Sonic's All-Stars Racing. Uh, but once you get used to the controls, and you get things down, you really will have a lot of fun. Plus, this is another game where you can create your own levels, create your own races, just have a lot of fun with being creative. Motorstorm and Motorstorm Pacific Rift, my favorite racing games for the PS3. Absolutely love them. This one, not so much. Um, you know, this one kind of just felt like a tech demo and it showed off what the PS3 was capable of as far as graphics go, the explosions and all that. But Pacific Rift is so much better. I'm really excited about the third Motor Storm game coming out later this year. More racing games, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit. Oh, this game is amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, Go, do it now. This is so much fun. Very similar to the Burnout series. Ninja Gaiden Sigma is another one of the reasons why I had to buy a PS3. This game, along with Heavenly Sword, um, totally sold me on the console. And even though I have this game on the Xbox, I just knew I had to have it on the PS3 because the graphics were just amazing and it was well worth going back and playing it again. We have some platformers here, Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction, along with Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time. A Crack in Time is definitely one of my favorite platformers for the PS3. Lots of fun. I love 
love the whole um, time manipulating uh, puzzles that were included in the game. And um, you know, I really look forward to maybe, hopefully, I have my fingers crossed, um, more Ratchet games and maybe even a Daxter game coming out on the PS3 sometime soon. Resistance Fall of Man and Resistance 2. Now, I completed Resistance Fall of Man. I, I enjoyed it, actually, but haven't got around to actually opening Resistance 2, which is quite a shame. The Sly Collection is such a great value. I mean, all of these HD collections really are. I mean, they're great values. I absolutely adore Sly Cooper. Um, not a lot of people talk about Sly Cooper, which is kind of sad, but um, I do love the Sly games. Definitely well worth it if you enjoy platformers. Start the Party is a PlayStation Move title, and it's kind of fun, but then again, it is kind of lame, and I don't know if that's the reason why it's kind of fun, but uh, my son and I had fun uh, just playing through this game and being crazy. It's a collection of mini games. Um, you know, if you have children, uh, you definitely want to play this with them. If you are playing this by yourself, yeah, you're not going to have fun at all. Toy Story 3. I haven't actually played this game. This is my son's game. He was looking forward to it and he completed it and had a lot of fun with it. So maybe one of these days I'll get around to actually playing this game. We made it to my favorite games on the PS3, Uncharted Drake's Fortune and Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And it really doesn't get better than this. Actually, it could get better than this um, in November of 2011 with Uncharted 3. But for now, it doesn't get any better than this. I uh, absolutely love these two games games, especially Uncharted 2. Love the multiplayer. Love the story. I love the characters. Nathan Drake is awesome. All of the characters are awesome. Um, just the gameplay, the set pieces, um, everything overall is great about this title. So you guys should definitely check out the series if you haven't already. Kyria Chronicles surprised me because I'm really not into like strategy tactical RPGs. Um, but while this may be a strategy RPG, you know, you can still do stuff in real time and fight in third person. I mean, I really enjoyed this game. It's a lot of fun. And it, you know, a lot of people didn't pay attention to it. So that's why there's Valkyria Chronicles on the PSP, which I really do need to pick up. I heard that game is great. But um, yeah, if you can find Valkyria Chronicles, definitely, definitely buy it um, because it's well worth it. Great RPG. White Knight Chronicles. I haven't gotten around to playing this game yet. I got it for Christmas and I haven't played it yet, but I really do want to get around to playing it. I've heard great things about it. Level 5 is awesome and um, there's a sequel coming out, so I have to prepare myself before that sequel comes out. And the last game is Yakuza 3. Wow. Um, I haven't even completed this game, but from what I've played, it's awesome. I definitely, this is the next game that I am going to play because Yakuza 4 is coming out in March. I mean, it's right around the corner. Great games, um, you know, has that whole Streets of Rage feel to it. And the cool thing about this game, if you haven't played the previous two titles, it has this whole cinematic, you know, gallery where you can go and watch all of the events that happen um, so far in the series. So you're all caught up with this game. So, um, and the fact that everything is in Japanese is great. I mean, there's no English in this game at all. You're reading subtitles constantly. So it's awesome. Um, Definitely can't wait for Yakuza 4 to come out. So there you have it guys. My PlayStation 3 collection, it has grown significantly and I'm excited about where the PlayStation 3 is going in the future. Thank you for watching this video and I'll check you next time.